Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a video that I didn't want to have to make and didn't think I would be making because I was expecting after my last time talking about Star Trek Discovery, the next time I'd be talking about it, I'd be talking about how amazing the first episode was. Sadly, that will not be the case because Wednesday night, the Star Trek social media team decided to put out a message saying that, yeah, by the way, um, Anyone who has Star Trek Discovery on Netflix, um, you won't have by the end of tomorrow because we're taking it off, ready for Star Trek Discovery's launch on Paramount Plus early next year. And as a result, Season 4 will not be on Netflix at all, ever. So with literally 48 hours to go until the show's released, in fact, even less thinking about it, the show's been removed from that Netflix. With no warning, however... The American and Canadian release is still going ahead on Thursday. So when Star Trek Discovery comes out on international in international places, the show will probably already be over in the US and Canada. And that's left myself and probably millions of other Star Trek fans across the world in complete and utter Klingon fury. None of us are happy. Because I, I, I looked at the comments on the Facebook page post from Star Trek about this announcement, every single one of them was furious. Not a single positive comment on there, which I'm not surprised about. And I don't blame them. Like, I was incredibly annoyed when I found this out. Ironically, I was playing Star Trek Online at the time. Yeah, the irony, huh? But there is something that makes this 5,000 times worse. Well, there's two things, but I'll get on to the other one in a moment. The cast. The poor cast. They didn't find out about this till last night either. Not a single cast member knew about this until we did. And they're all pretty annoyed. Anthony Rapp, I, who plays Paul Stamets, the chief engineer of Discovery, has put out a massive thread of tweets. His first of which is saying, I hereby reach out to our many international fans of Star Trek Discovery, who are understandably upset at this last minute news that you won't get to experience season four till 2022. We cast members just found out about this as well. We share your disappointment and frustration. And the reason he's so frustrated about it is because he was at a convention in Germany last weekend saying, yes, Star Trek Discovery will be out on Netflix next week. Yeah. So with literal less than 48 hours to go, uh, we're not getting Star Trek Discovery today. Like, it will be in a... It says in early 2022. So that ranges from anywhere... From January to about March. Yeah. So, I don't know what to do, really. There will be a way to get Paramount Plus in the UK, but that's uh, uh, going to be a fun one. It's on Sky Q. So if you are a Sky Q customer, you will be able to get Paramount Plus. If you aren't, um, I'll let you know as soon as I have more information. But yeah, so... The American and Canadian release of Star Trek Discovery will be today on Paramount+. Plus. Hope you all have fun watching it. As for the rest of the world, um, I'm just as annoyed as you are. I'm honestly furious. I honestly can't believe this happened. Like, there's no way that they just did this last night. There is no way they made this entire deal last night to break it. There's no way they broke this deal off last night. No way. I, it physically can't have been done. They've known about this for a while. And the fact they haven't told the cast is even more annoying because, well, they're going to be just as annoyed as we are. In fact, Jason Isaacs, who was in Star Trek Discovery Season 1, playing Captain Lorca, is also from the UK. I don't know if he lives here anymore, I'll give you that, but I can't imagine he's very happy. As for the rest of the Discovery crew, well, we know about Anthony Rapp's tweet that I just said there. Um... Blue Del Barrio um, responded to it, saying, I could not have said that better myself. Patrick, I think, Patrick Kwok Chun, who plays um, Lieutenant Reese, um, literally just posted the gif on Twitter of Captain Picard smashing the glass case that held all the models of the previous Enterprises from Star Trek First Contact. And the guy who plays Dr. Culber in the show, his name is currently escaping me, unfortunately. Apologies if you're watching this. I doubt you are, but you never know. Please comment, just to remind me, if you are. Um, just posted a Apple Memoji of him having an expletives bar in front of his mouth. 
So, a lot of the Discovery caster voicing their frustrations, uh, some are voicing their frustrations, some are voicing their sympathies to the rest of the world, and honestly, I'm glad because, again, they've known about this for no longer than we have, which I don't know if that makes it better or worse. No, actually, no, it definitely makes it worse. Because they're the people who make the show. As I said, Anthony Rapp was in Germany saying, yes, Discovery will be out on Netflix this Friday. And now, what he said there was for naught, because, well, at the last minute, Paramount said, actually, no. So now we're going to have to wait an indeterminate amount of time to get this show. I don't know if I'm going to watch it, because, well, this is kind of got a bit of a sour taste in my mouth, and many other mouths across the rest of the world, literally everywhere except for America and Canada. But as I said, I hope you all enjoy watching it, if you are um, in America or Canada. If you're going to post spoilers on social media, please spare a, th a thought for the rest of the world before you do so. Like, it's bad enough as it is without it getting spoiled. So if you are thinking of posting spoilers, please reconsider for the sake of the rest of the world. Anyway, guys, that's going to have to do it for this video. So as always, people, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my Roxanne and Frost's channels, down to in the description, my sub button is down there. Yeah, that big red one, unless you've already subbed, then it's grey. Thanks for that, by the way. And once you've done that, don't forget to click all three of our bell icons to get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And let me know what you think of this news. I haven't got any enthusiastic questions to say. I will leave some of the cast tweets in the description. Well, their Twitter handles if you want to go have a look. Um, once you've done that too... Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. Those links will be in my link tree in the description. Don't forget as well to follow Roxanne on her blog and Frost on his Instagram. The links are also in the link tree. No, below my link tree in the description, sorry. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and Star Trek frustration, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with hopefully a slightly more positive video. Bye-bye!